That's why he kept playing because he didn't want to go home to a cheating ass wife. Speaking of cheating, I told y'all we talking about feminism and city girlism. Giselle Bunchen is a 40 something year old city girl. We talking about feminism and we talking about uh, city girlism. You heard it here first, people. Let's see. Um, Mace reacts to Giselle Bunchen cheating allegations being off being by offering a warning to men everywhere. Mace is someone who does not mince words when he feels a particular way about a topic. In fact, recently he has been able to speak freely on his show. It is what it is. Overall, the show with Cam has been a massive success. It's one of the best podcasts out here. They talk about a plethora of sports topics, and they will even move the conversation to pop culture if they have to. Most recently, they spoke about Tom Brady rumors regarding Giselle Bunchen. It was alleged that she was cheating on Brady with her personal trainer. As you can imagine, Mace had a lot to say on this. Yes, these women do be cheating with the personal trainers. And you got women that's going to deny this. But it goes on. Why do you need a male personal trainer again? In fact, the artist issued a warning to men with girlfriends and wives. Essentially, he said... To be weary of if a woman ever hires a male personal trainer, whenever you break up with somebody, it's like a death. What's Shout ironic, to Brian. melanated women in America are the face of lesbianism in America. They are projecting. Same when they say a man is an SH asterisk T. Right. Appreciate that. <laughs> right. They have been. They, they want to make melanated people the face of all these, you know, movements, you know, these, uh, you know, these liberal movements. You go through a grieving process, you get angry, all those things. That's just what they say Mace said. But to say that he's finally realized she was cheating, did he not know before? Let me tell you fellas something. If a girl got a trainer, number one, she could have got a female trainer. The fact that she got a male trainer is already kind of like a red flag. And we know those male trainers be getting it in. They be getting it in. Let's get to what May said to say. Whenever you break up with somebody, it's like a death. You go through the grieving part process. You get angry. All of those things. That's that's just what they say, you know. But to say that he finally realized she's cheating. Did he not know before? Killer, what do you think? Did he not know she was cheating before? If let me tell you, fella, something. If the girl before you go, Killer. If the girl got a trainer, number one, like she could have got a female trainer. So the the fact that she got a male trainer is all already kind of like a red flag. And if he wear those kind of pants, paws that are like the dry fit Nike pants, you know what I'm talking about, Killer? That's really tight. And then he and then he oh. want to wear the shirt, paws, the shirt with his company on it. He probably smash it because he's constantly telling her, go down, get up, you know, go deeper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So in her mind, she's used to hearing him say all of this is it's going to be almost like he's planning his he's planning Brady's demise by doing this. So just just think about this. Go deeper. Go down. Let me stretch you. All is he and he constantly saying this. He's setting up. Look, his stat is laughing. What the game on that? I'm laughing. She knows. For that. <laughs> she know it the truth. That's why she's laughing. She knows it the truth. Women know that's the truth. Women know that when that's why they get male trainers. Because a lot of these women have not had relationships with the men that they want. So what they do is they go and they hire a personal trainer who they're physically attracted to. They hire, because they'll, listen, you got those trainers, they're very fit, right? P former athletes, some of them, most of them maybe. Uh, those women hire those men because they want to see that every day. They're not trying to look like that man. Why not hire a female trainer who has a body type that you might be looking to have? You're hiring a male trainer. 
who looks nothing like your husband or boyfriend. Cardi B got a male trainer too. <laughs> I let y'all. Uh, let's see. Uh, but Mace is right though. Mace has a Mace has a point there, and that's why again, you know, when I see these women out here with these male trainers, you know, I, I chuckle a bit because I know why they hired them. They hired them because, you know, they're they're attracted to them. It's just like why do you, and the thing is this, you don't really see men hire female trainers. They could, you know, like the female that was on the Biggest Loser TV show. I would probably hire her as a trainer. Just to, just to look at the work that she's done on the show, right? But I see the work that she has done. I'm not going to hire her because I'm attracted to her. You don't really see men hiring trainers. That, they, they hire trainers who can get them in shape. But women hire trainers that they are attracted to because they want to see that man on a weekly basis and possibly have relations with that man. Not in every situation, but, I, but in a lot of situations, you hear stories about women sleeping with their trainers. Plenty of, plenty of stories. And these women hire men that they are physically attracted to. If you want to have a certain body type that a woman has, why not hire a female trainer? They, that's plenty. Of, Instagram is full of female trainers trying to help women get that, get that natural, mat, naturally big butt, right? Or naturally, you know, thick, thick legs, right? Y'all don't hire those women. Y'all don't hire those women. Y'all hire men that you're attracted to that you get to see on a weekly basis. And that's why this has become a conversation. And you'll see women in the comment section capping, lying, talking about that's not true, whatever. We know it goes on. Not in every case. But in most cases, it, it, it happens, you know? And, and listen, we're just being honest. We, we're, we're here to, I'm here to bring honesty. I'm not here to lie to y'all. There are people that's going to lie to you and say, that's not true. Jay, that's not true. But you, you got, scroll on Instagram, and how many women do you see who have, who are personal, who claim to be personal trainers? Why aren't y'all hiring them? Who can get to say they can get you to buy that they have? But y'all hiring men tra male trainers. Because you want to be around again. Because a, a lot of these women have never dated a man who was real physically fit. Right? They can hire a personal trainer. They can go see him every week. You know? we've I, I've seen it to where women end up dating their personal trainers. Everything is about relationships. Everything is about dating when it comes to women. Women go to the gym now for the purpose of, of linking up with men. You have women having these conversations about linking up with men at the gym. Shout out to Sonny. You know, Giselle wants to be a city girl again. And she, she got tired of being a wife and a mom. She wants to be out here busting it open. You know what I'm saying? Doing what she sees these other women doing. Look at Tia Mowry. She wants to be doing that. I mean, that's that's where we're at. These these women are just they they out here just wilding out. Just straight up wilding out. Salute to everybody that's here. Let's see. Um let's see. 